Hello everyone, uh, my name is Buiwa Adedayo and I am a lecturer, I am also an educational neuroscientist. Okay, today I have another very important topic to discuss uh, with us. Okay, the title of uh, this video is uh, Dopamine, Dopamine Fasting, uh, Three Study Tips okay, for Exam Success. I repeat, okay, Dopamine Fasting. Uh, three study tips okay for examine for exam success uh, yes if, if you look at the um, the media today okay one very important topic that is going on all over the world not only in the united states but in other parts of the world okay has to do with dopamine and uh, presently um, there are some experts okay in the field that have taken it upon themselves to create this global awareness of dopamine, dopamine okay, its uh, its benefits and its uh, destructive okay capacity. Okay, one of the leading lights okay in the field. Okay, her name is Professor Anna Lemke of uh, Stanford University. Then another one, uh, another one of uh, another of the leading lights. Uh, his name is. Uh, uh, Professor Andrew uh, Huberman. Uh, th then there was uh, this concept uh, that, that was invented, invented okay, by a professor. His name is uh, Professor uh, Cameron uh, Sefer. Okay, he was the one who in coined this term, this term, uh, dopamine uh, fasting uh, or dopamine fast. And then he also coined okay another term. Uh, dopamine uh, detox if you if you download videos on YouTube okay there are so many videos that have the, uh, that, uh, that that were recorded in order to create okay this uh, this global awareness okay of of uh, dopamine itself and then uh, what is the connection between dopamine uh, fasting okay and this topic yes I realized, okay, uh, based on maybe informal research, uh, that dopamine too can be used. Okay, all the knowledge of dopamine can help us increase our academic uh, performance. And uh, this knowledge, if uh, students okay are aware, okay, of this knowledge, I strongly believe that it's going to be a kind of uh, a plus, okay, on their, okay. On their academic uh, performance, uh, then um, the the neurotransmitter uh, dopamine itself. I think it is important for me to uh, really uh, give us a kind of okay an inkling, okay about what dopamine is. Okay, simply dopamine is a, a neuromodulator. It is one of uh, the uh, the uh, most profoundest uh, dopamine in the human uh, nervous. Uh, system okay dopamine has its 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 kind of its relatives okay like uh, acetylcholine like a serotonin like um like uh, norepinephrine epinephrine etc uh, then um the next question okay becomes what is the connection of okay the connection between dopamine okay and exam success before I really answer that okay let me buttress okay the the idea of okay dopamine again okay dopamine okay as a neurotransmitter it is referred to that okay dopamine that uh, that neurotransmitter that of uh, of anticipation okay it is also referred to as a neurotransmitter of a uh, goal pursuit okay uh, a neurotransmitter of reward uh, but whenever we desire something okay we, we must not forget that th that is dopamine that is working in our nervous system uh, then things that are connected to dopamine are one like the social me media okay like whenever you produce a video okay and people start okay, appreciating okay your video okay that is the reason why you, you are feeling happy Okay, it's because of uh, dopamine. Whenever people, whenever you drop a comment on maybe on on uh, on um, a Facebook and people started start maybe commenting that or clicking like likes, okay, 
and others. Okay, this is uh, the reason why you you, you will become uh, spontaneously excited is because of uh, dopamine. Uh, so simply, dopamine is a, a neurotransmitter of pursuit, okay, of anticipation, okay, of pleasure. Okay, whenever we do, we engage in activities that uh, give us uh, that make us feel high. Okay, it's because dopamine is being released in our nervous system. And then um, there's another professor, okay, uh, 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 whose work is connected to this video. Okay, his, his name is uh, Professor Carl Newport. Okay, this guy, this professor has been talking about deep work. Okay, and uh, one of the factors that he 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 actually keeps stressing is, is the fact that okay, whenever an individual wants to engage in deep work, you need to pay attention. You need to pay absorbed attention and to fully be focused okay on whatever you're doing. And either we like it or not, okay, the academic environment, okay, in exams, a test, okay, requires some amount of a deep work. And I strongly believe that even in, in an examination, okay, uh, uh, kind of um, environment, or whenever there is, whenever examination is coming, okay, the likelihood, okay, there is this like, likelihood for students to want to study, okay, the content, okay, of each of the subject. And these are three things, okay, three study tips that I, I strongly believe will help students, okay, is, okay, whatever exams that they are about to write based on data uh, from neuroscience. So then the first thing is uh, that one of the things that students have really need to put into practice whenever they are studying is to pay attention. And how does dopamine fasting okay relate to this okay dopamine fasting has to do with uh, trying to uh, to do away with those things okay that cause okay distraction okay like our, our mobile phones okay like watching a uh, netflix okay like uh, expending most time on social media okay and others so therefore to be able to pay attention okay uh, in order to to increase one's arousal one needs to do what to do away uh, with uh, dopamine agents okay one of the dopamine agents okay that i want to refer to is our mobile our smartphone the reason is this uh, that the to be able to pay okay uh, incredible attention on whatever we're about to study okay we need okay the uh, frontal lobe and if you look at this this image okay this is the frontal lobe and interestingly enough okay dopamine is released also in the frontal lobe though there are other maybe uh, uh, deep brain structures like the ventral okay tegmental area the vta okay the nucleus okay uh, accumbens okay the striatum okay and some other subcortical structures also release uh, dopamine then one other thing is that there are in the brain that's why the fact that we have about 100 billion neurons there are some dopaminergic neurons these are neurons that are dedicated to do to doing what to releasing uh dopamine so the first thing that is students actually need to do in order to do what to increase exam uh, success is that they need to actually to do what to uh, uh to integrate dopa dopamine of uh, fasting and it means that at that moment when they want to uh, to study their phones, okay, must uh, be out of sight, okay, the, 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 the plasma TV or whatever devices, okay, that they, they, that they have, okay, they must make sure that they do away with those things. And by so doing, okay, attention, absorb attention will be available for them to be able to read and in the end, they will perform well in their exams. Then another, okay, agent of, oh, uh, another uh, subtopic, or another point here is that okay that students do what they should try as much as possible during exam to minimize okay their their clubbing okay hanging out with friends okay this is extremely important if they want to do, to do what to perform excellently in their exams okay this is one of the study tips that i, I strongly have put into practice and i i believe that it is worth sharing with my global audience then another thing Okay, another practice 
okay uh, uh, that i strongly believe is connected to dopamine of fasting okay has to, to do with okay a daily uh, practice of meditation okay uh, that uh, studies have actually shown that okay uh, uh, meditation apart from the fact that it it, it's, it, it is uh, it is beneficial to the nervous system it helps us okay calm down our minds okay it, it, it prevents okay our minds uh, from wandering so uh, during the exams i'm going to advise students to look for okay uh, means of integrating meditation okay into okay their uh, kind of uh, their preparation their exam prepar preparation uh, k k kind of practice and uh, with these three points one pay with paying at okay paying attention okay that has to do with okay removing okay uh dopamine dopamine agents then they must make sure that they they stay indoors more okay to, in order to be able to do what to study then thirdly okay one of the dopamine okay uh, fasting a uh, kind of tips or study tip is that students are advised to do was to practice okay some amount of meditation because this will calm their minds down it, it will help okay their learning and memory and it will enhance or it will serve as a boost okay to memory retrieval or memory recall so thank you very much for your time okay and i just uh, I, I i want to advise you to to always watch our okay our uh, our station the success strategies okay television this television is actually meant for individuals for students who want to to succeed okay in life and please make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you comment if you have any questions okay put it that we could, when you drop it i'll make sure that i check it and i would see you okay in the next video thank you